Hello, I am Dr. Bill. I am going to teach you how to get rid of your hiccups every time, guaranteed. No, I'm not really a doctor, but on this Adventures with Bill, I am going to show you a 100% guaranteed method for you to get rid of the hiccups, and it works every time. I hate the hiccups, and I bet you do too. And I'm sure you've tried lots of different cures and remedies to get rid of the hiccups, and sometimes they do work, but there's one big problem. They don't work every time. Perhaps you've already tried? Well, I've tried all of these remedies, and a lot of them have worked for me. But it's a bummer because what's odd, usually the second time I try them, or the third time that I have the hiccups, they don't work anymore. It's like my mind or my body has figured out how to keep hiccuping. Now, I don't know about you, but when I get the hiccups, I don't get those little dainty ones. Excuse me. No, when I get the hiccups, they're loud. Everyone in the room knows it. And they're not only loud hiccups, they're, they're violent. It shakes my whole body. I don't get the hiccups very often, but when I do, they stay a long time. I've had hiccups during the afternoon, gone to bed at night, woke up in the morning, and I'm still hiccuping. I don't know how I got to sleep. And if my wife is in bed with me, she's not going to get any sleep. My hiccups shake the entire bed. They rack my body. I hate the hiccups. So you're going to love this cure. This method works every time to stop the hiccups instantly. It's easy, it's cheap, and you probably already have around your house the items that you're going to need. Here's one of the items you're going to need, and it is a common household tablespoon. Not a little teaspoon, okay? A tablespoon. The bigger size of the two. The second thing you're going to need is peanut butter. And not just any kind of peanut butter, it's got to be a specific kind, not a specific brand. I'm not a peanut butter salesman, but it's got to be a particular type of peanut butter. It's got to be rich. It's got to be creamy. It can't be crunchy peanut butter, you know, with the peanuts still in it. And of course, if you're allergic to peanuts, don't do this. It might stop the hiccups, but it may give you an even worse condition. And we don't want that. No, you want the kind of peanut butter that is thick, creamy, sticks to the roof of your mouth. That's the kind that works. One time I had the hiccups and I was at my daughter's house. All she had was this natural, organic peanut butter. And it was kind of oily and it didn't work. And I, you'll see why later. Now, there's a specific way you have to take this peanut butter. It's crucial. If you don't do it this way, it's probably not going to work for you. If you do it the way I show you, I guarantee it's going to work every time. At least it does for me. So why does my method work so well? Well, I think there's an important reason for it. There are a lot of different theories as to what actually causes hiccups in the first place. A lot of doctors say it has to do with the diaphragm and your breathing patterns that get interrupted. Other doctors say it has to do with the uvula, that flap of skin that sticks in the back of your throat. And that's my theory, and I believe that that's why this method works every time. So, here's the secret sauce. Here's how you have to do it. Get yourself a tablespoonful of peanut butter. That's not enough. You want as much as you can get on the spoon, maybe even more than's going to fit into your mouth. And you got to take a big bite, as much as you can, all at once. Can't get it all in your mouth the first time? Keep putting it in. Okay, not me, but right now, you have your mouth as full of the peanut butter 
as you can get. Don't try to swallow it all at once. Swallow it nice and slow. You want to feel it going down your throat nice and thick. Don't chew the peanut butter. Can you chew it? Just try to swallow it. You don't want to wash the peanut butter down with milk or water or whatever you drink. You want it to stay thick and sticky in your throat as long as you can. Because here's what happens. As you fill your throat with the peanut butter, it pushes against the uvula, pushes it back against the back of your throat, and the stickiness of the peanut butter keeps it there and holds it there. Well, that stops the impulse to hiccup, and it stops it immediately, and they stay stopped. So you want to slowly swallow the peanut butter, stretch it out as long as you can, keep your throat full. You're not going to choke. You'll still be able to breathe through your nose, but you'll feel the action of the peanut butter, and it's awesome because you can feel it even after you've swallowed it. 10, 15 minutes, you'll feel it working on the uvula, and your hiccups will be gone, 100% guaranteed. Now, if you try this method and it works for you, I'm sure it will, please leave a comment down in the comments below this video. I would be encouraged to hear that this works for you too. Now, if you've taken this method exactly the way I've described and it doesn't stop your hiccups, please put that in the comments because I want to know that too. Third, if my method didn't work for you, but you have your own method, one that we didn't mention earlier, that works to cure your hiccups and it stops them every time, please put that in the comments as well, because there may be some other people that my method doesn't work for, but your method may help them. Hey, thanks for watching this Adventures with Bill. If you haven't yet, please like or subscribe on the buttons down below. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Have a great day.